All right, here we are with part two of the H89 head with Shannon, the Sunny truck, and the dyno. Stay tuned. All right, so the plan is just to stick it on the dyno without changing a damn thing. Shannon's just sorting out the, uh, to, to get the, the speeds right so that the taco reads correctly. Um, we found the old, the old uh, trace from the last time we dynoed it, so yeah. But the, the plan has always been to put the H89 head on and change nothing and just see what it's actually worth. So you've got the air conditioning going, you slack bastard. It's stinking hot out here, I'm dying. And you've got the air conditioning on. <laughs> bastard! <laughs> oh, you need to keep the computer cool, or that's it. He's a lying bastard. We've got a bloody thunderstorm happening at the same time. horsepower it's so about three and a half four horsepower and we've done nothing just change ahead so Shannon's just whacked it up on the screen um, the old one hey he's got it going <laughs> been having trouble getting the Cortina gun but yeah the, the big gain has been in the uh, torque look at this this is the new one this is the old one that gain there is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so our top end, this would be, be being limited by the cam. What do you think? That's limited by the cam? Still the same cam, right? Yeah, well, cam hasn't Cam hasn't changed. Well, it feels a lot more barky because of that, that game down the bottom end. That's, yeah. that's huge. It is a fair bit. That's, that's, like, that's, that's, that's good. Like the, the head's flowing way better at the bottom end, but the cam's still letting it down and won't yeah. let it rev. Because I was holding that thing tapped and it ain't going past 6.8. <laughs> it's just, it, it's not going anywhere. It just wasn't going anywhere, but geez. So how much, what's the gain down the bottom there? It's sweeping from 3,000 RPM if you want. I'll try and bring, I'll bring the power sweep down a bit so we can um, have a bit of a, a, bit of a look bit down, of... down the bottom where you're actually driving it more often. So yeah, the camp, I mean the cam's the camp, so the top end's gonna be a different, but look, that, that curve is wild. Such a big difference down the bottom. This is why it feels a lot more barky. It's like a, a, a a cam would really make use of all of that, uh, all that extra airflow. And see, it, it, it's just a bog standard cam. The bottom end's all bog standard. So, at the end of the day, this is just going to stay where it is because the cam's the cam. But like, wow! <laughs> so what Shannon's done is he's um, changed the actual rate at this it's, we're starting at 3000 at the moment but um he's changed it to it's going to switch on about 1600 so it'll it'll even out this part here so it's smooth it out so we can actually see what it's doing i think it's getting a bit hot that air temps up to like almost 60 something it's disgusting it hasn't really affected the power but it's affected the torque oh yeah do a couple more runs after it cools down our crossover point for the power is, is 52. 52 is where the torque and the power, uh, torque and the torque's dropping off, the power's coming up, and they cross over exactly at 52, which is exactly the same as it was with the other head on it. The, the gain, and it's a, it's a really big gain, has been um, in the torque at the bottom end. Oh, wow, you know, you saw the pictures. So we're gonna let it cool down a little bit. That's why you can hear this uh, fan going flat out because it's like a million degrees humidity here at the moment. We've got 81.1 degrees F, which I don't know what that is in C, but 70.4% humidity. So it's only like tw about 20, oh, it's, it's, it's warmer in the shed. You know, the local says 24, 25 degrees outside. In the shed here, it's pretty bloody warm. 
and humidity is through the roof because it's actually thunderstorms and raining around <laughs> and then the sun comes out and then it rains again and it's just So we, we're going to call it today. We're just chasing our tails. And the main problem is that crack, um, the crack headers are giving us a, a dodgy O2. Uh, so there's no point in trying to tune it or anything. So, But the, the, the good thing about that is it gives us some really concrete numbers. So that's at, uh, what, 2,500 RPM, which is where you use it. Like, you know, normally you're driving between about 2,500 and 4. Um, you can see the gains here, right there. Bing, bing. Oh, thank you, sir. 57. 47, so it's 10, 10 foot-pounds there, 2,500 RPM. And we are 22 and 27. So you've, you're you certainly feeling that in the seat of your pants, Dino. Yeah. The plan of attack is, look, as I said, there's no point in doing anything um, here, so we've got the got the new extractors. We can put those on, um, and we're going to change the injectors to a known quantity, which we've got those. Just haven't done it because, you know, it's Christmas. So once we've got put the injectors in, they're a known quantity. We've got all the data on them, um, and we will never be able to get sort of what we need on these Yamaha ones, the early Yamaha ones, even though they used it for a fair, fair while, but it's gonna make a big difference. And then in the Howtech, we can change over, like our, our compression ratio is wrong. Um, you know, in, in the tune at the moment, the compression ratio is wrong. The um, injectors are just a guess. You know, we're just guessing at too much stuff. So once we've got, um, what we need to do is put, Put the injectors on, we'll put the extractors on, the new ones, um, and it should get, pick up a bit of power from that too, you know, maybe a, a horsepower or two, just because they're going to breathe the dam site better. Um, mandrel bent, and they're just a nice shape. Thanks, Stewie, you've done a, you've done a good job. Uh, we need to put an O2 sensor into... The, I need a new O2 sensor, um, because they're about 500 mils longer, like the... The O2 sensor is basically about there, and in the new ones, it's going to be like near where the gear stick is. So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's where we are at the moment. Um, but we've we've proved that this this head breathes a hell of a lot better. The torque. Well, just to give you an idea, I was driving it around with the air conditioning on. Um, and it was driving like the air conditioning was off. And that's, you know, it's it's obvious just there and it's obvious here. Look, there it is, right there. There's that extra torque, you know? Between here and here, it's just like, you know, it's it's much up until what, 4,000 RPM, it's just making so much more. I'll put that up so you can actually see what we're talking about. Yeah, between here and here, yellow's the old one and the white's the new one, the, the H89 head. So yeah, there's there's 10 newton meters in there, <laughs> and there's a there's a chunk of horsepower down low, and that's where you're driving it. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. So um, Shannon's busy at the moment, but uh, he would say goodbye. But uh, thanks for watching the Barrel Brothers channel, everybody. Look after yourselves, and we will see you next time.